right, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Action, you got it. Hey everybody, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, <laughs> Fixing Random Crap with Craig. Uh, sadly, still dealing with this brand new tractor and issues with it. So, um, you know, we dealt with the broken switch. That was a problem. Uh, good job, I jack it up. That's good enough, that's good enough. That's perfect. Um, and we're doing a test now to make sure, just to see what's happening because uh, it seems like only one tire is working. Uh, okay, Hudzi, do you want to turn it on for us? Okay, so we got lots of power. It's fired up well. Um, okay, can you now uh, press the gas, please? Okay. Press the gas just with your hand. And we're going to watch the tires. So notice only the back tire is working. That's why I wanted to jack it up so you. Okay, you can let go. So I've taken the seat off yet again. <coughs> We've owned this. Been outdoors for now about nine days. And I have had the... I have had the seat off a lot of times and you will see that this wire has come disconnected completely so this the power comes in and it goes out through this it goes out through this fuse Power's here it goes through the fuse sorry I gotta move the camera probably and then attaches to the motor through this little clip thing um, this one has just let go like and I didn't take that off it was working fine now it's it. now it's just gone. Oh, good. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, thank you. It's from the seat. That's from the seat. Yeah, Hudson, don't don't drop, don't lose the screws from the seat. Those are very important. Um, so I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna connect that back up. There was a connector. I'm guessing there's a connector like this one in here somewhere. I'm gonna have to get the flashlight on and see if I can find it. Uh, maybe we can use that again, or maybe I'm just gonna have to like solder that on to this pole here. Anyway, I'll let you know how we do. Go. Okay, so we've got this wire. I trimmed it up a little bit to uh, make it work a little nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and press the gas. And what I'm gonna do when I press the gas is I'm gonna tap this um, against the motor and we should see that hopefully the other tires spin. So Amy, you wanna hold the gas for me? Perfect. Okay, great, yeah, hit it. Uh, what's wrong here? There we go. Nope, just one. Yeah, I know, but watch this. Oh. Ah. Stops. Okay, we just need to make that connection. You can let go of it. Great job. So we're going to figure out how to get that connected on there better than it was done by the by the company with these funny little um, funny oh, little company. sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> those guys. Okay, more to come. Okay, here we are. We're back. So this is the black piece of... Hello. Black piece of insulation that was at the end of this wire connecting it to that post. Can you see it over here? Uh, no, you don't need to jack it up anymore. It's perfect. Similar to that one there, um, which is still holding on. I may change this one now too. But like, it has, you can see they kind of like crimped it a little bit, but there's no, there's no like metal inside this thing. It's just like a sleeve, so it doesn't really do much. So I said, how can I get this on there? So I learned into the old bucket of, uh, you're back too. Went into the old bucket of electrical connector nibs and knobs here and found these guys and found this one here. Just one sec, bud. Just one, one sec. Almost done. Let me put this down. Hold on. Let me put some stuff down. Uh, we don't need the black one anymore. What I did is turned this Hi. one. Hey. I put this on an angle because there's not a lot of room next to the battery there. So it does fit on there pretty nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp this on here properly. And this is a metal, this is a conductor, right? So when I crimp that on there really well, that's not going to let go anymore. And then I'm going to slide that onto the post and we should be back in business for this you know, most recent what issue is this, of which there have been many with this product that I cannot recommend Wait, at all, but one. we're getting it back. We're as best we can back into service due to the absolute lack of customer support. So here we are. Tell us when. Okay, hit it. Okay, so we got both tires going. They look really funny on the video, but they are they are doing really well. And uh, hit it again, guys. So you'll see how this is kind of set up now. With that thing. Let go, Edson, let's go. Yeah, I will say that the, uh, the sleeve would keep it from like 
because I want to close up that conductor. So I'm going to wrap that in electrical tape now so that it just nothing else touches it. I don't know what would, but I will, uh, I will cover that up and uh, put it back together and we'll do a little demo. Do I have to do it again? Okay, you can see now that it's just got the electrical tape there so that nothing's going to rub up against it. And uh, yeah, we're going to put the seat on and do a quick test drive. Okay, you can take it down off the hoist. Oh, great job. Hudson, you got to hook up the trailer. Okay, test drive. No, say action. Okay, action. Okay, high speed. Sure. Slow speed. Okay, it's all good. We're back in business. Hey, eh? both wheels are turning, so we're back. Another issue resolved with this tractor. Catch you next time on Fixing Around with Crab and Craig. <laughs>